Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, two years ago, the unthinkable happened to the Wilt family. Their son, Ryan, fell from the back of a car as it was pulling out of their driveway. The 19-year-old hit his head, and he never recovered from his injury. Now, even though Ryan lost his fight, he was able to give life to others by being a transplant donor. Well, as a youngster, Ryan was the go, was on the go all the time, loving sports, especially basketball. He was a dedicated son, brother, and friend. He had just finished his first semester in college and was home on break when he suffered a traumatic brain injury. He became an organ donor on December 31st, and his family takes comfort in knowing his heart still beats and gives someone life. It's amazing. His life has found a way to honor him, or excuse me, his family has found a way to honor him, which again helps others. We'd like to welcome Jennifer and Roger Wilt to our show this Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, I'm not going to be able to get through me this Me either. <laughs> so that's why it was so hard for me to read that. Um, tell us about Ryan. Ryan was just a great kid. He um, had very strong faith in Christ. He um, was had just turned 19 years old on December 20th. And I uh, loved being with friends. He had graduated from Waxhatchee High School, played basketball since he was four years old, since he was eligible to play basketball. Mm -hmm. um, his daddy coached him a lot, and we have some really That's good cool. friends and that helped coach him uh, through with the YMCA and things like that. So he's just, he was a great kid and um, had great expectations for his life. And, you know, we were just, got that worst phone call that every parent you know, mm. praise never happens. And what was that day like? Because I'm assuming he had probably done this very thing a hundred okay. times before. Yep. You know. Yeah. And um, Roger, tell us about that day and what happened. Um, we were just—I was coming home from work. I was um, so it was you know roughly around 10 o'clock, and I'm kind of heading home. She gives me a call and says Ryan was in an accident. We need to. Um, they had to call the ambulance, so we just jumped in the car and, and kind of went where it was at. And they had to care fly them from the Ferris High School mm. to um, up to um, Methodist. So of course we couldn't ride along or anything. So we're just driving along up there. And of course the whole way is is okay. Just give us just talking to the Lord, saying just give us a you know mustard mm. seed. That's all. Just the faith of a mustard seed. So that's kind of what we went on and it was just overwhelming to see all the support from everybody and just kept us together during the whole time. Now did you all make the decision with Ryan when he was younger that that if anything were to happen he would donate his organs? You know he went as soon as he turned 18 he went to the Department of Transportation to get his driver's license and he came home that night and he's like I got it it's gonna be in the mail in a few weeks and so we were talking about the process and you know um, the customer service you get at the Department of Transportation <laughs> is so right. awesome and we just we were talking about it and laughing about it and I said did you check the box at the bottom of the form and he said I didn't see a box mm -hmm. so he didn't notice it and I said well it was about organ donation and I said if you ever um, you know if anything ever happened your, don your organs would be donated and he put his hands on his chin like this <laughs> he said let me get back to you on that mama <laughs> And, you know, with Ryan, he'd usually say, Mom, you're crazy, you know, and, you know, that was it. He wasn't going to hear of it. But I really felt like that was something he would have wanted. And, of yes. course, you guys had to make that very difficult decision at some point in time to donate. His, or, what, we did. Actually, was it a difficult decision for you guys? You know, it point? wasn't difficult because I really knew from the moment that I saw him in the ambulance mm. that there was going to be some decisions to be made. And I didn't you, really need the doctor to tell me. You guys have stepped out on faith. Your faith is mm -hmm. so strong, and it's what's gotten you. Oh, my gosh. Tell, yeah. us, <laughs> tell us the role it's played. I'm just telling you, I mean, there is a pain that is so deep from losing him and that, you know, you miss him, and you go through periods, and you hear music, or you hear songs, or you hear people say things, and, yeah. and you just go through this deep grief. But God's love is so mm. much greater. I mean, it's just mm. like leaps and bounds greater in the support of friends and family and community. I mean, it's just, you know, um, the community of our, of our, where we work and um, our family, our church, our Rocket Baptist Church has just been phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's, you know, God's love is just, it's amazing. His grace that he's given to our family through this crisis has just, I know, and I know the song, I mean, mm -hmm. but it's just, it really is truly 
I can't explain it any other way. And it's of just course, amazing. God is obviously still working through Ryan, right? He, he is. is. Right? He is. Through the organ donation. You guys have he a is. charity event even We do. Up, we, right? um, his birthday is December 20th. And, I mean, just the support of community continues. Um, we have some great friends, Bob and Becky Lynn, that made this beautiful flyer for us. I'm shaking. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> yeah. And... Um, the you know and he took it to the printer and the, the printer are people we know and they, and they generously gave I mean the generosity of people to support mm -hmm. this event they they printed the flyers up for us mm -hmm. and just all the volunteers that come into play because this is not something that we have ever yeah. last mm -hmm. year people would say what do you need me to do and I'm like I don't know mm -hmm. I, I don't know what do you want to do what you know what's God <laughs> yeah. leading you to do do something and and I've just told everybody we're not changing anything it was an awesome 5k it's a timed run mm -hmm. It's out at Lakeview Camp and Conference Center, and uh, there's so we don't have to worry about traffic. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's a timed run by um, Race Chip Timing Company, and um, and then after the race is over, we do the basketball, a three-on-three -three mm -hmm. basketball tournament. And really I'm just sure hoping to that. educate everyone about organ donation too, yes. right? And awareness. Yes, and definitely. Um, I've asked for a volunteer from uh, the Donate Life to come out and help speak. You know, be like have a a place for people to sign up and we put um, the flyers from Donate Life in our bags for our runners, That's our awesome. participants. And That's great. We received a letter from the gentleman who received his pancreas and uh, although it's all anonymous, when I got that letter it was really as if he knew, he knew my son and um, you know for Ryan's organs to be able to continue to live and give the life mm -hmm. of, of health and well-being to other people just, you know, it brings us great comfort. Yes. Well, thank you, you so much for amazing. sharing your story. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Um, okay, let's give you the uh, the info for the event again. The Ryan Wilt Memorial event, Saturday, December 20th. It oh. starts at 8 a.m. It will be at Lakeview Camp and Conference Center in Waxahachie, and you can get more details at ryanwiltmemorial.com. And we are back with more right after this. Aww.